Hey guys, if you're like me, you're looking to build your website, your blog, you want to gain some new traffic, you know one of the best ways to do that is to improve your domain authority. So I'm going to show you the two tools that I use to track my domain authority, to research other competitive domains, see where they're getting backlinks from, and try to figure out how I could potentially create my own clickbait to attract backlinks from high domain authority websites. So behind me on the screen, the first place we're gonna start is the authority checker from Ahrefs. What you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you my current domain, totaltherapysolutions.com. And then I'm gonna show you the domain from a competitor website. So I'm only at a six for domain rating. I've got 184 linking websites, 859 backlinks. Okay, so that's not very good. Um, the, the other website is my knee, what are we calling it? Myneeguide.com. So I'm familiar with this website, myneeguide.com. We're going to go ahead and check. They're a 31, obviously way better than my six, 300 uh, linking websites, almost 3,000 backlinks. Okay, so let's take a look at the power of their backlinks. So I'm going to control C to copy. I'm going to come into, again, another free tool from Ahrefs, backlink checker. I'm going to paste their domain. I'm going to click to check their backlink profile. And this is all public information. Um, if you look at this center column here, these are the domain rate ratings. Yeah, domain ratings for the sites that are linking to the target site. So like something like this, a seven. That's not going to do much to raise my authority from a six. But a site that's got a 76 domain rating out of 100, an 89, a 97, these are huge. These are huge opportunities. Now, some of them aren't going to apply to me. Like here, this is the Apple Apps Store. I don't have an app. I'm not going to create an app. I'm not going to get a backlink there. Um, incision Healing After Surgery, alinahealth.org. You know, that's a 77. That would be an awesome one. Uh, I did a little research before I started recording, so I'm going to check these two out. So this is drugwatch.com knee replacement. If I right click and open that URL, what you see is this is an article that somewhere within this article, there's a backlink that takes the, the authority from this and conveys it to the target website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say control F my knee. I'm going to start typing in guide and let's see what we come up with. I'm going to click view sources and you can see right here, number 34 um, in the reference. So this is where the backlink is coming from. And if I click on that backlink to see what they're linking to, so this says the total knee replacement prosthesis retrieved from, and then I come over here and I can see that this is the article that they're referencing. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a decent article. It's got original images. You can see Pinterest, you can pin the images. Um, it's not a super long article. It's not super in depth. It's written by Brian Hatton, MD published in 2016. So, you know, this kind of stuff, if I come back over here, so this was number 34, reference number 34. If I go up here to the top, I type in 34. Let's see, not that, uh, not that either. So somewhere in here, either they were referencing an image or a piece of information, I thought I'd be able to find maybe the hyperlink. Um, I'm going to show you that in the next article. But nonetheless, that that blog post was used as a reference and as a result got some great um, Google authority. Here is the other one. So this is a very well health article 
written by another MD. In this article, they reference myneeguide.com. And so if we do the control F, my knee, it doesn't show up immediately. But if I come down here to where the references are, uh, what they ended up doing actually was they put a space in between my knee and guide. But this is what they're referencing. So it's reference number four. Let me see if I can find it. All right, right here. Okay, so this paragraph has this reference. This reference takes you out to the My Knee Guide website, Infection, Uncommon but Serious Complications, written by Brian Hatton, MD. We've got this little piece of content, and that's it. You know, again, it's not very large, it's not very in-depth, but it was enough that whoever was the author of this article chose to cite it and reference it. So if we can look and, you know, potentially reach out, like depending, let me go back here, depending on this particular author, if they're still, this, that was in 2020, if they're still continuing to generate content, if they're still writing, um, as we continue to produce high quality content, these authors are looking for references to support the information that's in their article. Very Well Health is a massive media company. They produce tons and tons and tons of content. While we're not gonna compete with them, hopefully we can be a resource for them to generate these kinds of high quality backlinks. Let me see if there's, so here's a Pinterest one. The knee guide. Let's take a look at what that is. You know, and if you don't have Pinterest links going back, like there's at least one that's obviously straight. There's another one. These are all knee guide. Um, they're not that beautiful, you know, but what if you started creating some motivational posts, pinned them, put your logo on there, created some original um background artwork and graphics i think that there's definitely an opportunity for you to get a pinterest backlink so food for thought guys this will help improve your google authority it'll help improve your ranking and that is what's going to get you more traffic to your website if you guys want to learn more about blogging to attract traffic to your clinical website go ahead and search this channel, this YouTube channel. I'll create a hashtag um, blogging for PTs. I'll put it out there. Otherwise, let me know what you guys want to see more content on and I'm happy to share. I'll catch you guys in the next video.